So when it comes to what starting sample types you can actually use, there is really uh, no, almost no limitation anymore. So we have um, various sample types. You can start from tissue uh, that can be frozen, that can be fresh, that can be FFPE fixed. So we can, we have um, methodologies to extract single cell and nuclei suspensions from scrolls taken from an FFPE block. Uh, you can use blood in, in this case or any other biological fluids where you will be doing some cleanup steps to then generate a, a cell suspension and um, cell cultures or um, organoids, etc. can also be used with uh, several uh, minimal processing steps to turn it into a cell or nuclei suspension uh, to be run on a single cell assay. Um, and before you decide, you know, how... Um, you go about um, extracting your sample or dissociating your sample, you need to really consider uh, what uh, um, readout you're expecting. What would you like to get out of your experiment? What would you like to measure in order to decide uh, if you're extracting whole cells or nuclei? So if you're interested in protein expression uh, together with RNA uh, gene expression, you need to really input whole cells if you're just interested in gene expression alone, uh, you can work with whole cells or nuclei. And if you are interested in, uh, in a, a chromatin accessibility or open chromatin, so or looking at epigenetic um, levels, you uh, need to use nuclei uh, in our assay. So really that already defines uh, which uh, assay or which sample prep methodology uh, you should be looking at. So to uh, put into perspective uh, where cells versus nuclei, what are the differences there? There really are um, several key points that we've pointed out here, sort of five key points um, that will um, help you make the decision. Uh, so there is some advantages of working with nuclei. Uh, you can go from flesh frozen tissue or hard dissociated tissue, um, but you won't get a VDJ full length sequences and you won't be able to assess cell surface proteins, obviously, because of the uh, missing cell membrane. Mm -hmm.